Okay, it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. And if you know what this is that's standing on the workshop today, I think you know what this means. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So, yep, yeah, you guessed it, the Tesla coils are back. So, going to be building up this circuit today, and we're going to run it through a few tests. My MOSFET will probably blow up in the process, but let's just put this all together and see if it works. Okay, and we is done. So, this wire is going to go out to the primary. This wire is the return from the secondary. And this is where the mains goes in to power the thing. Through a ballast, of course, but... Well, I've built the thing, so um, let's see if it works. Well, guess it's about time to test this thing. There are a couple of um, changes I've had to make, because I well, didn't have the components. Instead of using a 10k resistor here, I've used a 20k. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it halfway and just use this part of it and not go any further than that, although we might be able to go further than that, I don't really know. And I didn't have a 12k resistor so I've used a 15k, shouldn't really make too much of a difference. I've got my oscilloscope hooked up with this wire connected to the end of the probe, so if this does anything, we will be able to see it on the scope. So I'm just gonna fix the camera back onto the tripod and we'll give this a test. Right, so I'm gonna power this up from my homemade power supply. So this is gonna be a low voltage test. Now my homemade power supply isn't exactly current limited, but it does have a rather small transformer in there. So if I've got the primary round the wrong way, it's not going to deliver so much current that it's going to destroy everything. Because if the, if the primary's round the wrong way, it's not going to oscillate and it's just going to sit there pulling current and won't really do anything. So let's just give this a quick blast from my power supply and see if anything happens which it doesn't. Alright, so I might have the primary round the wrong way, so I'm just going to put my huge head in the way while I flip these connections on the primary. Alright, give it another quick test. Ah, there we go. It's doing stuff. Alright. And that decayed quite slowly when I turned the power off, so that's good. That means it's not drawing an excessive amount of current. Well, let's see if it's actually giving us any output. I've got a fluorescent tube here. Let's see if that lights up when I turn the power on. Okay, yeah, it does. Let's see if we can pull any sign of an arc off this. All right. So that's looking good. Let's see if we can put a top load on it. You know what I'm going to use as a top load? Guess a lot of you saw that coming. That's probably way out of the camera shot now. Oh, it isn't. Let's see if that's changed our... I know it's going to lower the frequency, but let's see if that's changed our output at all. Oh, that's a bit better. It's a little, a little bit stronger with the top load. And try pull an arc off that. Yeah, let's say we're getting about maybe 3,000 volts off this. So that's a good start. Well, Japs, I think it's about time we stop farting around with that. And we go over to rectified mains. Okay, and we're about ready to go. So we're in the shed. Got all this set up. I've got a transformer connected. 
the primary of a transformer connected as my ballast. That's what these crocodile clips are for. Got several other things I'm going to try as ballasts. There's a Tyrodion transformer here. So this is one of the things I'm going to try as a ballast as well as this transformer here and this 40 watt choke. Going to be powering it off a step down transformer first. So this is going to be about 35 volts. using this transformer as the ballast so well, let's see if we get any breakouts and then we'll try it on 70 volts and then maybe 100 volts and then maybe full mains voltage okay everything's a go so let's see if anything happens uh, nothing that's kind of disappointing and there's some stupid teenagers coming well, I'm not sure why we're not getting any output, so to make sure it's actually doing something, solution to that, stuff a fluorescent tube in there and see if it lights up. Right, let's see if that responds at all. Okay, well that's giving us a little tiny bit of response. Okay, so it was oscillating, it just wasn't really producing much in the way of output. So try a different transformer as a ballast. See if that gives us any better results. Uh, well that one's even worse. Okay, this is no transformer. Let's see what we get. Oh, it, it actually did something. Something arced over it. Wow. Well, it arced to the bulb. I mean, it arced to the fluorescent light. That's more like it. Just uh, move the camera back a bit. Yeah. All right then. Let's try a couple of different ballasts. Because if I was to connect this without a ballast, it would explode. Heat sink is still stone cold. Right, so the previous transformer was about 2 Henry. This one is about 1.5 Henry, so let's see what this gives us. Oh, and again, I forgot to plug it in, like the moron that I am. So this is 1.5 Henry, full mains voltage. Oh yeah! Oh, I think that's the lot. I think the MOSFET just died. Well, that was good while it lasted. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment if you have one. And as always, until next time, goodbye.